What's up, everybody, and welcome to another Tuesday with me, Eli. So this week's topic is what is our biggest personal struggle? And I was thinking about this one and trying to figure out, you know, what's, what has been my biggest personal struggle on this journey. And I think in the beginning, it was figuring out what it meant to be non-binary. I identified as a lesbian for a long time, and it never felt right. I did not know how to put that together, like, with my identity, and I didn't know non-binary identities existed, and from the things that I learned from, like, our very underrepresentative media was that, oh, if you're just, like, boyish, boyish, and you like girls, and you were designated female at birth, you're gay, that's what that means, and so I thought, okay, well, this must be me, this is what people are telling me I am, maybe this is it, um, but I suffered from and like still battle with, but it was a lot worse in high school, it's just like severe, severe depression. And I didn't know why, what was the big underlying thing. Cause I could think of things in my life that would set off depression, but I didn't know why it was like every day. Why was it so constant? And why was it even when things were good, I would just feel like some sort of weight and heaviness and like, I just, needed to figure out something in order to like lighten my load you know like just kind of clear my vision for a second and then maybe it would get better and as i went through high school i kind of started figuring out that i was trans but i didn't identify and i still don't as fully male so it just confused the crap out of me and I didn't know what to do I had no like buddy that I thought I could talk to that was sharing that experience so I just kind of kept it in then I got to college and I remember one day I was playing around with names like what if I had a different name and I thought man Eli what if I was called Eli it's a variation of my birth name and it felt so good to say it out loud and I don't know why in that moment like that's all it took but that one spark um, really led me to kind of think further and then I heard people talking about what gender queer was in the LGBT center and I was like oh my god that's me <laughs> and I remember very distinctly like whispering it to myself in the mirror like I am gender queer I am trans masculine and it just like blew my mind. I, I cried a little bit because it felt like home figuring that out. Um, and then after that, I would, I would say that was my biggest personal struggle in the beginning of figuring out I was trans. And then now what I struggle with, um, I'm really happy <laughs> with my identity. Um, I, the things I struggled with this year was um, kind of redefining queerness for me, um, what it meant for what I like. For a long time, right after I came out as trans, I thought that, okay, I don't know how I had internalized something, but I thought that this means I can't like guys. Like, that's too much. Like, I can't be sexually attracted to guys, even though now I identify as like pansexual, but not panromantic exactly. But everybody, you know? And I thought that maybe people would negate my transness if somehow they find out that I don't only like girls and I don't know I just I just was afraid of that for a long time but kind of this year uh, I think yeah this year especially I've been more accepting of myself and I've opened up like my fears into just being me and just kind of like you know, if somebody's going to have a problem with me, they're going to have a problem with me regardless. It's not liking guys or liking non-binary people that is going to negate my transness for them. It's probably the whole thing. So that has been kind of something I've been getting over with or getting over. Um, also, expressing femininity. For the longest time, I did not want to express any femininity in at all uh, in the traditional sense of the word because I thought, you know people will hold on to that one thing and just be like, oh, but you do this, so none of the rest is true. Um, and so I've been, I've 
hurtling over that. Uh, I, I guess I'm grip, grappling that right now. Um, and because it feels good. I want to express however I want to express. Uh, my presentation does not ex uh, affect my identity. I will present however I want and identify how I am, which is transmasculine. Um, and also that using he pronouns doesn't negate my non-binary identity as well. So I guess, I guess uh, in summation, my biggest personal struggle has been consolidating how the world sees me and how I see myself and letting go of the worry about the rift in between that as much as I can. I hope uh, somebody related to that. I hope it helped anybody. Uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to us for more wonderful opinions by all of the fellow people on this channel. They're all great and fantastic. Theo is also today who will probably have just a wonderful video as always. And be sure to check out our Tumblr. Have a great day. Oh, this is a video.